Hi, it's Mark from Lightmap, and we've made some really big changes to the Maya connection uh, with Carbon Drop 2. So here you're looking at the, uh, the old Maya connection, which was a panel that you needed open uh, inside of Maya at all times in order to use HDR Light Studio. And there was quite a lot going on in this panel. Uh, some things you used often, some things you didn't use very often, and we decided to improve the experience. So I'd like to show you now the new version, which is a shelf inside of Maya has all the controls that you need. And we made a lot of changes in Carbon 1 in terms of the workflow, whereby you could press the start button and everything would be handled for you. So uh, just the same, we've got a start button in the shelf. So just press play. There's no V-Ray dome light set up. So it would say, would you like me to create a hook? OK. So that will then create a dome light for you and start up HDR Light Studio connected to that dome light. And in here, we can press the play button and it will start interactive rendering inside of Maya and V-Ray and it will show us that result. And then we can just get on and we can light the shot by dragging and dropping lights. And doing what you like. Um, if we wanted to load the model, we could load our render view, press play, press import, and we pull that model across as well. So that's the experience. In terms of what are the other buttons for, if I just minimize this and I'll close that also. So we can pause the connection if we want to, and we can stop it. And that will basically totally close HDR Light Studio. And if you haven't done a production render, it will put uh, temporary files in your scene. And if you have done a production render, uh, it will obviously leave those pointing at the files on disk. Um, you can still manage your hooks using the hooks button and you could create a new hook, a new dome light if you wanted to. Um, you can rename them. Um, so I'll just close that. Uh, if you want to manually export, um, so for example, let's say that we uh, move this camera view and that means that the project over here is not in sync we might want to push that over again. So I can use this button, uh, which exports the geometry in the scene. Uh, so export scene, that's now done. I can go back here and I've got the scene synced up. Uh, if you want to use light paint inside of this view, you can do. So if I just make sure I've got a light selected, this spotlight, that's great. Minimize that and can we render this with V-Ray in the view? V-Ray IPR. Okay, my uh, depth of field is uh, changed. So let's just take the camera back to where it was. Cool. And we can use light paint. So if I click on light paint for reflection mode, and then I click in the view, we can move the light directly in the viewport. And that is basically being moved around in HDR Light Studio. Um, if I put always on top, squish that up a bit, and show the canvas, and show that as I'm clicking around, we're moving that light with light paint. So they're the three light paint modes, and I can turn light paint off. And then we simply got an info button which tells you the build number. And then we've got a button that goes directly to the help. So that is the simplicity of the new Maya connection interface, all based off a shelf. And the great thing is, it means you don't have to have this dockable panel anymore taking up screen real estate. Um, and it's really, really easy to use.